Hi Divine Feminines, welcome back to my channel. Why are my cards like this? We're getting right into your energy update reading. And I must say, Divine Feminines, throughout this whole little Twin of Flame update series that I've done tonight, you guys are blossoming in each and every reading. You have not um, showed up in reverse, not yet. So, you know, kudos to you. I tried to snap, but it was the epic fail. Um, you are making it happen here, but there's hesitation on your part. Your overall energy is the Six of Cups. So you're thinking about the past. You're letting the past hold you back here. Because we do have the Three of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Magician in Reverse, and the Hangman. This is the past up top. You're hanging on to this, hanging on to the dishonesty for some of the manipulation here that happened in your relationship. For some, You know, because... Let's be honest, this is what it is. Some of them are lying to you about these karmics here. Some of them have babies with these karmics. Some of them got married to these karmics, you know. This is making you hesitate to move on. You're in your energy. You're in your element. You're in your light. You pulled these knives out yourself, Divine Feminine. You are currently and have done the healing to pull these knives out yourself. You're getting your wish fulfillment. You're filling back your cups, your own damn self, okay? And it's like you're thinking about this soul connection, worried about you know, stepping into this new chapter in your life. Because if there was a card right here, it would be the world card, right? Because you have completed your journey. You have gone through the major arcanas. Major arcanas begin with the full, ends with the world card. Because you took the full journey, took a leap of faith to start the healing process. And as you're healing, look who's creeping up behind you. You're a twin of flame. But there's hesitation here to take that leap of faith. And to be honest, it should be the full card and then the world card right here. Because all you have to do is take that leap of faith and start this new chapter. And here comes your twin. All right, so I'm going to stop preaching there. But it's literally, I mean, my cards are amazing. It's literally showing you that you're letting the past hold you back. All right, guys. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> you have someone wanting to take action here. And it's crazy because as I was shuffling, this wanted to fly out. And it's saying stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith group bring you happiness. So stay positive. You have done the work. Take that leap of faith, Divine Feminines. All right. This is kind of crazy. Okay. Clarify the three of cups. Clarify the three of cups and reverse. The strength card, yeah. It's like you're digging your own home and you don't have to be. <laughs> you're focusing on low self-confidence, low self-worth, not taking a risk to move ahead because you're still grieving over your self-worth over this third-party incident. And let me tell you right now, Divine Feminines, don't ever think that you know, you've know you got played in this situation here because you didn't. This person you know, had a lot of issues that they needed to deal with on their own here. And it's like for some you feel like you were the star of this drama and don't ever think that these karmic wanted you to think this don't ever stoop to their low vibration here you know lift your show so yeah lift yourself up divine feminists and defend this take this one become the page and move on from this turn your back on this and walk towards your new chapter here but just good to take that risk why yeah, because you think that more bad things are going to happen to you if you do and you have to pull the knives out all over again. The cycle is going to keep going. What's better to tell you right now is not if you do the healing. You have 20 swords that you're pulling out your back right now. I know that's painful as hell. I've been through it. We've all been through it, you know. It's painful as hell, but we've gotten through it. And it's saying you've done the healing, you're going to be fine. Clarify fight the lovers. Yeah, if you just, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, if you just take the sleep of faith, I mean, you could be a Pisces or Leo, but you're not following your intuition right now. You are the divine feminine. You're too much in your head. Woo, this earth sign, because I know I'm an earth sign. <laughs> you know, this is a lot. You're too much in your head, earth sign, beside you could have earth in your chart, Gemini in your chart. The soul connection is not going anywhere. It's waiting for you. It's literally creeping up on you. But there's hesitation on your part, right? I mean, I can repeat that throughout the reading because it's staring at us right in the face, right? You're still waiting on something bad to happen. Well, it already did. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you feel like this person, you know, um, you don't know if this person is over how they were in the past. You know, for some, they were in this player like energy, emotionally cold, unavailable. For some of you, you're not really realizing that this person is single. Becoming single, you could have heard this 
um, in different friend groups. Sorry, hold on, I need something to drink because I my mouth just got super dry. I don't know if they're struggling to speak or you're struggling. To, I'm getting your energy. This is my feminine rating. If you need to speak up and get advice to find some of this, do so. Even if you have to do, you know, personal tarot readings with your favorite tarot reader or something like that, call, um, you know, their, your therapist to get another session this week, do that because you need to talk. My voice just got hella dry. You know, um, you could be worried about them while you're shining in your light. And Spirit is saying, don't do that. They're dealing with their own shit. Let them deal with it. There's that world card, right? Take that, take that leap. Because you're going to continue to be successful. We do have the nine showing up. Nine of Pentacles and the nine of cups. The number nines are a number of completion. You know, your lesson has been um, achieved already. You learned that. Seven of cups are reversed. The, the delusion is over. Wow. And look what comes out right next to each other. <laughs> you guys are so with me. Wow. Look what comes out right next to each other. And I just said this whole preaching thing about the fool in the world. And look how they come out right on top of each other. When all you have to do is take the sleep of faith. I should just put this here. Because I, you know, I'm, you know, but I'm not. <laughs> all right, take the sleep of faith. Stop playing. We, we all do. Yeah, you have the power now. You have everything. You have the ace, the pentacles, the swords, the wands. You can do whatever you want once you take the sleep of faith. We have the four, the magician in the world. The cycle is complete. Clarify the magician in reverse. But you're too much in your damn head. You are going to get this happiness. Get out of that. Get out of your head. Get out of your head. Nine of swords in reverse. The high priest is the eight of swords. Why is the eight of swords here? What are you struggling with? Moving on. Moving on about over the deception. You are delaying the twin flame, your twin coming towards you. You're delaying the union right now because you won't take this real card and choose your path. It's Cancer energy, Pisces energy, Gemini. Again, you're hesitating. You're hesitating. Get on this chariot and go. But you're too much in your head. You know, I want you guys just one day this week, just drop all these burdens. Drop all these burdens of my feminines. And even if shit, do a timer. Even if it's two minutes out your day, one minute, one minute out your day. As you're in shower, just breathe. Clear your head and just breathe for a minute. Woo. All right, guys. Clarify the night of swords. Because <laughs> you're too much in your head. Then I just say that. Breathe. Relax. Relax. You're delaying this. Because you're waiting on things that's not going to happen. But you're delaying it. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah. You can have this love and... <laughs> Can I start preaching now? Because, Lord, embrace this King of Cups energy, your masculine side a little bit, because you're too much in your head. You're delaying this beautiful as love and happiness. You have the Ten of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups. Look, I'm done. I should just turn off this camera if y'all still with me. Look at what y'all delaying. Look at what you hanging up on. Look at what you hanging. Are y'all still with me? Look at. I don't even care no more. Look, look at what y'all hanging up on. Look at this. The lovers twice the ten of pentacles. <laughs> y'all, I think somebody arguing on something about it. See, that's a sign that I have to argue with the Carmen. All right, anyway, let's keep going because y'all dropping me nuts. Can I find the Hank man? Because you still dwelling over this third party. I'm going to take all these cards too because y'all being pet. Yeah, embrace this masculine side. Didn't I just say that? Okay. The five of wands in reverse, too much in your head, over suffering, over the loss, because you feel like you lost in this third party. Sagittarius energy, temperance is coming in to balance things out. Scorpios, get out your head. When I, when I'm telling you, you're going to create a tire moment. If you don't, if you're hanging, this is why this, listen, this is why this tire moment is here. Because you're hanging on to this. You're hanging on to this. If you even have to look in the mirror and apologize over the choices that you made, I don't know. You know, and I'm not saying that, you know, we're not perfect. We have the grounds to divide from the energy. We did some petty shit. So if you're lingering over the petty shit that you did, then look in the mirror and apologize to yourself. Say that you moved on from this. You're trying to move on from this heartbreak, which is great, but you're hanging on to it. You're stagnant. You have to make some moves because if not, a tower moment is going to come in to help you shatter this. And it's going to be a good tower moment, but you, you're going to go through another awakening. And again, not all tower moments are bad either. Why is Empress here? 
Pour that love into your divine masculine side. I mean, your masculine side. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Pour those cups into your masculine side. Get your ten of cups that way. You got it. You're, you're so much into your feminine energy. Tend to your masculine side, guys. And it's going to keep hanging until you do. It's going to keep being stagnant until you do. All right. So anything else for my divine feminine? This may or may not resonate. I'm just pulling some romance cards. Anything else? Pay attention to red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Because you're in your head for something that's not there. Like I said, yeah, it's time to retreat and disconnect from the world right now. Take a break. It's, like I said, for two minutes, even if that, take a break from this. We have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And this is exactly what this reading is all about. Forgiving and learning and moving on and finding your true happiness. Because this is some beautiful cards. <laughs> So in this reading, if you're still with me, all right, any advice on, you know, this masculine energy that they need to tend to? Any advice here on this masculine energy? Yes. Just say yes. And take this leap of faith. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Trust the nigga. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? Trust that intuition here. You know, right now you're not. Look at this. You're too much in your head. That's how you feel right now. Anything else? All right, I'll take these three because we need it. What lights you up? Yeah, what makes you happy? We have transformed. Do things that make you happy. What lights you up? Dance, sing, play video games. We have transformed. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing. And I feel like that's why you're kind of afraid. Because you feel this major transformation that's happening. And it's scaring the shit out of you. But look at you sitting on your throne, queen. Okay. We have get grounded. Like I said, masculine energy, you know, stay grounded. This is what I've been preaching the whole time. Your feminine energy is vibrating so high. And that's probably why you were so much in the readings I've done today that you have to tend to your masculine side. Get grounded. Connect with nature. Go outside. Take a step away from this. All right. I'm going to leave it there, guys. Please let me know if it resonated. If you stay with me.